Intramuros is a Latin word which means within the walls, and the district beyond the walls are called extramuros, meaning outside the wall. Intramuros is also called the walled city. Intramuros was where Manila's most influential and wealthy citizens of the Spanish colonial period had lived. Why is Intramuros built? The Spanish began building Intramuros in 1521 on 0.67 square kilometers of land strategically chosen between Manila Bay and Pasig River to be the Spaniards' political and military base in Asia. Here's the places to visit in Intramuros. Port Santiago Port Santiago is the oldest Hispanic stone fortress in the Philippines. It is also the most important historical sites in Manila. Jose Rizal, one of the Philippine national heroes, was imprisoned here before his execution in 1896. Second, Manila Cathedral. The Manila Cathedral is the premier church of the Philippines as it was the first ever cathedral in the country. The Manila Cathedral we see today is not the original structure. Actually, the cathedral has been taught a lot but stands still. It has been a witness to a history that is worthy to tell to every generation, from ups and downs to wars and love stories. The Manila Cathedral is surely one of the best places to visit in Manila. Third is the San Agustin Church. It is the oldest church in the Philippines and the only church which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Philippines. We'll be amazed at the masterpiece painted on its ceilings. Fourth is the Casa Manila. Its main attraction is fully furnished home-turned museum that shows how Filipinos lived during the colonial era. While every corner is beautiful and Instagrammable, visitors are not allowed to take photos. When inside, Walk only on the carpeted area so that you do not damage the wooden floors. Next is the Silahes Center. Make sure to also include Silahes in your Intramuros tour. It is a place that emphasizes the Filipinos' creativity showcase through various products made from woods, shells, and other native materials that you can buy as a souvenirs. There are also antiques artifacts, and other Filipino artworks available in the store. Next is Baluarte de San Diego. Baluarte de San Diego used to be a droning chamber during the Spanish era. It is surrounded by a beautiful gardens adorned with lush plants, pathways, fountains, and an attractive pergola that will remind you of a fantasy land. That is why it has become a popular place for weddings, family parties, and other special occasions. Last is the Museo de Intramuros. If you want to indulge in more history about Intramuros, make sure to visit Museo de Intramuros that was built to share more about the world city's past. It houses about 500 religious artifacts found in old churches near and around the walled city. It is located in two important reconstructions inside the walled city, the San Ignacio Church, the convent and the mission houses of the Society of Jesus. Trivia about Intramuros There are eight entrances in Intramuros. In 1951, Intramuros was declared a National Historical Monument. It is also the old district of Manila. Please take note that tourist sites and museums are still closed while Metro Manila is under GCQ or General Community Quarantine in compliance with the IATF Omnibus Guidelines. If you want to know more about our Philippine history, Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Jam Radan Official. See you on our next tourist destination. Again, this is Jam, your online tourist guide.